Hey guys, it's Abby, and I am here with the new Sophie and Toppy Cinderella box. This is their officially licensed Disney box, so it's very legit and approved by Disney. I'm really excited to check this out. This is their second Disney box. The first one was Villains, and the second one is Cinderella. Look how pretty this box is. And then here is the wrapping. It has a really cute sticker on it and the booklet. I did take a peek at this and everything in here looks really cool. The little booklet lists the contents and there's the first item, some molds. We'll take a closer look at them in a second. But some bezels, some slices, decals, some different resins that have their own packaging. It's so fancy. And then some more molds and stuff. And finally, the next box is going to be Christmas themed and it's going to be Tsum Tsums. Do any of you still collect Tsum Tsums? I don't avidly collect the plushes anymore, but I still do love them. And it says here that Tsum Tsum box is available for new signups from September to November. So if you're thinking about getting it at a discounted price, make sure to do it between these months. As for the Cinderella box, it's kind of last minute, but they're taking orders for the subscription box through August. So if you haven't ordered it yet, now's the time to do it. I have a coupon code down below where you can get $3 off. And it actually kind of helps me out a little bit. So I would appreciate if you use that. Anyway, let's dive in here and take a look at what we have. Looks like we have some powdered pigments, glitter flakes, fine glitter, chunky glitter, blue glitter, and some star glitters, some hollow stars. And ball chains, some dome bales I think, normal normal bales, flatback bales, two key rings, some pin backings, and I think these are little magnets for the paper doll mold. Paper doll mold? Resin doll. Here are the decals and look at how rainbowy. Next thing. How about we take a look at the carriage mold? They posted a video of this on their Instagram, I wanna say, and it looked really cool. It's a 3D pumpkin carriage, and I am intrigued. I can't remember if it's a little trinket box or just like a little figure. Either way, it's really cool. So it comes with four different layers, it's kinda like a puzzle. So I will be testing this out. We'll see how it goes. Here are the resins. Looks like we have shaker oil. Oh, so do we have shaker molds in here? So crystal LED UV resin. So this is the type that cures faster. Some two-part resin, AB resin, one-to-one -one ratio. Here are the bezels. And before that, there's another bottle of the UV resin. So I'm kind of curious why they include both the UV resin and the crystal, but the LED resin is newer, so it it's kind of a way for you to try out a lot of different resins, I guess. And here we have the bezels. I'm really excited about these. Disney licensed bezels. Best thing ever. Let me get closer. Here we have a pumpkin carriage. And what is this one? Um, oh, it's Cinderella. I'm like, it's a crest? No, it's Cinderella in her dress. And Cinderella in her dress, but without like, all the decorations. A little Cinderella silhouette. This is. This kind of looks like when she's riding away in the carriage at the end, but there's no Prince Charming. And then two keys. These are so pretty. I almost kind of like them just like this. Like I would put a chain through it and wear it as a necklace. What do you guys think? Few more items. Oh, we have like little metal charms. I think these are considered shaker charms. Some canes. I struggle with using these. They're very, very pretty, but I never know what to use them with. Maybe this time I will challenge myself and try to use them. These would also look good in Shaker Charms, actually. And then finally, the little doll molds and a shoe mold. So I definitely saw a video of this on their Instagram. Maybe it was their Facebook. I may have been both anyway. It's really cool because you can put the little magnets in and then you can layer the dress on top of the doll or Cinderella. 
and I'm excited to play around with this mold as well. So there is quite a lot in here, plenty to play around with and I will be doing just that. So I do want to acknowledge that last time I had a comment requesting that I actually craft in the unboxing video and I think that is a fantastic idea. This time I'm just uploading the unboxing because it's only available for a few more days and I want you guys to be able to order it at the cheapest price possible. So look forward to the tutorials that will be coming out within the next few days and let me know what you'd like to see first. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!